Hi, I'm Eric Curlin from 3D Space. In the 1940s, a 3D photographer named Seton Rochewite designed a camera that brought stereo photography to the masses. He called it the Stereo Realist, and it has a two lens design and uses standard 35 millimeter film. He brought this to the David White Company that started mass producing them in 1947. And these cameras proved very popular with amateur 3D photographers and started the 3D photography boom in the 1950s. Now this camera used standard 35 millimeter slide film, which then had to be cut and mounted in a frame where it could then be viewed in a handheld viewer or projected in all of its Kodachrome glory. A lot of other camera manufacturers, including Kodak and Revere, put out competing cameras, but the stereo realist pretty much stayed the standard for amateur 3D photography uh, for several decades. Now, in the 1980s, a camera was released called the Nims Low, uh, named for its creators, Jerry Nims and Alan Lowe. And this camera, as you can see, has four lenses because it takes not just a stereo pair, but four images in order to create a lenticular print that you can view without glasses. And modern stereo cameras, such as this W3 from Fujifilm, actually have an auto stereoscopic screen so that you can take a picture and view it right on the camera. If you'd like to learn more about 3D cameras and 3D photography throughout the years, you can go to our website at 3-dspace.org and please make a donation so that we can open our 3D museum. Thank you.